welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be here. If you guys are new, my name is Carolina Shaw. If you guys are returning subscribers, what up, fam? I'm so excited to see you guys. It's been a little bit of a long time since I have sit down with you guys and talked to you guys about important stuff. Um, today I'm filming a video giving you guys five top tips for incoming freshmen going into Berkeley um, that I think will help you guys a lot. It definitely helped me. Wish someone would tell me this before going into Berkeley. And yeah, you guys seem to love these type of videos and I'm so excited to create them for you. Yes, if you guys are here, please like this video comment and subscribe to my channel also turn on your post notifications so you guys are informed to when I post a new video that you guys might like I'm just gonna make this intro really quick so we can just jump into what I have to tell you guys all right see you along in the video guys Zoe wants to say hi say hi oh she's kissing me Say hi, mama. They had all the viewers. Hi, guys. Guys, also, isn't this outfit so cute? I'm sorry. I just needed to give you guys, like, a look. And for makeup, y'all, I literally went out today. I don't know why. It's like a gloomy day in Boston, but I felt like I needed to be a little bit, like, psh. Okay, so as you know, if you guys have seen my videos, you guys have seen that I finished my freshman year of college at Berkeley and I have a video explaining like, you know, what I felt through that whole year, what was the process like, meeting new people. So if you guys are interested in that conversation, you guys can hop over to my channel. I'll leave a picture of what the video looks like up here. But yeah, so there I just talked a little bit about everything that was going on. Today I'm focusing on five tips that I wish somebody would have told me before entering Berkeley as freshman because I think if I had that mindset in the beginning I would have like really just went full on disclaimer this is based off of my experience everything that I've talked about the school is literally based on what I went through the first year my experience there so everyone might have you know like a different experience if you ask someone who was a student there or is a student currently their answers might be totally different than mine because again it's just based on my experience so that's that and I want to start off with the first tip I wrote it down in my journal just so so I'm fully prepared. So top five tips for incoming Berkeley freshmen. I think the first one that I wrote down that really just popped into my head was being open-minded. And I think it's one of the most important ones going into, you know, this school and just, you know, coming out of high school, you might be used to a specific system, you know, a specific way to do things, to communicate with people and stuff like that. That's all gonna be literally, you guys, taken away the moment you go into the school. At least it was for me, it was like, wow, like. It's a whole different world with different people, different way to navigate, you know, yourself through the process. So definitely being open-minded, not being afraid to not try new things out or um, seeing things in a different way, you know, just being open to possibilities is what I wanted to say. Second tip that I have for you guys is creating a schedule so that you can manage your time right. Guys, this is the most important. Obviously, all of these, I'm going to say these are the most important things because it, they really are, but one thing that I've noticed when I was at Berkeley is that there's a lot of things going on all the time on campus, literally all the time. And also you have your schoolwork and you want to go out and meet new people. And there's also events where you can sing or play depending what's your instrument or if you're a vocalist. There's a lot of gigging opportunities. So it's like you have to know how to control and manage your time so that, you know, you get your schoolwork done, you get your social hour in, you practice your craft. So that's extremely important. And I think for me, first semester I really struggled on like okay I need to see how I can split everything you know and one mistake I was making my first semester was I was really just focused on like my studies and everything that involved like school work and projects and all that stuff that really just didn't allow me to have enough time to like go out when my friends would go out you know go get some ice cream or go to a jam session and stuff like that because I was like no no like I have to finish my school work first which is important you have to you know put school first but also don't deprive yourself from like having fun and enjoying your friends and going out and meeting new people and you know exploring new opportunities so I would definitely say when you get your schedule just you know see your schedule and see okay what works what can I do to go out and stuff like that or you know practice a little bit because you know it is a lot you have to find a way
way to just work around it so yeah okay my third tip is take your classes serious so for me and as a high school student i never really struggled with you know taking school seriously finishing all my works you know putting them in but there's definitely moments in my first semester like second semester where i was like oh my god like do i really have to pay attention to this or like oh my god like i it's so hard for me to understand that i'm not even gonna try and so i would seriously recommend my first semester i did not have a tutor which i kind of regretted because it did again take away my time from you know going out and stuff like that because i had to sit down and really figure stuff out on my own so i would say take your classes seriously if you need the help you guys go out and just find a tutor find some friends who you know might be smarter in that area than you are you know and and don't be afraid to ask questions i think my first semester i was really like i don't want to seem behind but honestly second semester i was like if i don't get it i'm going to raise my hand and i'm going to ask the question you know i was really lucky that i had a group of great beautiful friend who we all helped each other out if we didn't understand something or if we needed help with something they were always there so my first semester i got really lucky with meeting great people you know them being like a resource for me to ask questions to and we just worked together and second semester i really took the time to be like okay i don't understand this i'm gonna go to office hours i'm gonna go get a tutor i'm gonna ask my friends and little by little i started picking up the pace and so yeah. my fourth tip is put yourself out there and meet new people y'all this is so important because literally this is what's going to get you opportunities and what i mean by opportunities is i mean performing you know because berkeley is really like a place where it's networking and, and meeting new people and then uh, finding new opportunities that you may not know of and a lot of this really turned out to be true my second semester and you know you know first as i said before first semester i was really like in my own little space but i was lucky enough to not perform because my teachers saw like okay we have this girl who is working really hard she has talent so let's give her this opportunity and so i got really like in my first semester but second semester i was like you know what i want to be involved with you know student clubs that that are putting on shows and stuff like that and and I did that by going out and meeting new people. I have friends from my high school who go to Berkeley, and so we just all got together, and they knew people that I didn't know, and they introduced me to opportunities, which I'm super thankful for, and that's why I think it's so important to, you know, meet new people and not be shy, not be scared. If you have friends who are like, hey, like, I want you to meet this person. He's, you know, like a director of an ensemble. I think you'd be great. Be like, yeah, here's my Instagram. This is what I do. Here's some videos, and, and yeah, just putting yourself out there. So yeah, I I would say that is my tip for you know being involved in ensembles and stuff like that meeting people. okay and my fifth and final tip is have fun and focus on yourself y'all honestly after you get everything done by the end of the day you have to feel good with what you accomplished throughout the day and just feel good with yourself you know don't do things because you're like oh like this is gonna look good when i'm talking to this person or this is gonna be good when i have this opportunity it's just like at the end of the day you really have to do things for for your own good and for yourself and if you feel good with what you accomplish throughout the day perfect you're doing a great job literally don't let anyone tell you oh you're not doing enough excuse me i'm doing my best and i know what's good for me you know what i mean yes you can take some advice from other people but again if it's too much for you to handle don't put too much pressure on yourself because a you are a college student you're fresh out of high school which is a whole different world b this is a new environment that you probably have never been in and c you're still trying to get it together and you guys are only 18 years old literally 18 years old a baby i am still learning how to do that because i say all these things like oh yeah stress free and pray about it and you'll be fine but i'm still struggling with that like i'm still trying to learn how to not get ahead of myself also don't forget to have fun and explore with your art explore with your craft because at the end of the day that is what you're there for you know take time for yourself and take time if you're a singer songwriter which i happen to be what i would do is every time i would finish with my work or finish hanging out i would lock myself in a practice room and I would try to you know get some ideas out there write a song try to write some lyrics down and, and stuff like that just really focusing your attention on what you originally went there for throughout the journey that you're there you're going to be throwing a lot of different stuff but at the end of the day don't forget what you're there for i know i went there for singing and songwriting and if you guys are interested actually i have my own original music ep that i'll leave a picture of it up here it's called phases um it's available on every platform and i'll have those 
those links down below if you guys are interested um and yes just have fun and just be ready to to be challenged and explore new things and meet new people and you know because that's what college is really about just getting out of your comfort zone and blooming into this beautiful flower that you are and have the potential to be so i believe in you guys i know you guys are gonna rock the world and i know you guys are going to do great for anyone that's thinking or going to berkeley fall 2020 i hope that you guys are you know excited for this new journey in your life and i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did please share with your friends who might be attending and yeah i'm, I'm so excited for you guys congratulations for being accepted and hopefully going to the school um again you guys know if you guys have any questions you guys can dm me my instagram is carolina shot um you guys can comment also down on this video i answer all the comments that people leave down below and yes that is the end of the video i hope it was super helpful again please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys soon bye love you